while unreliable camera probably just can end at uh, disappointing. I think this is one of the beautiful things about photography. It just bridge gaps between people and foster, you know, understanding between different cultures of the world. Yes, I remember this picture. You know, I just took it a few weeks ago. And then I saw these girls and boys running to each other. The key of taking these pictures is just fast and accurate out of focus. You know, in real life, things happen in a blink of an eye so fast that you cannot just adjust focus by hand. I do agree what you say. Apart from that, I also think reliability is also very vital. A reliable camera can provide you consistency and reliability, just like a best friend while unreliable camera probably just can end at uh, disappointing. So, you know, Faye, I like it when you say that phones are like best friends. And uh, this made me come to my memory of pictures I just took a few months ago in the center of Rome, near a bar. And they told me, you know, this is my wife and my best friend. And they're all passed away. We were so beautiful, so young, so strong, and now, I'm the last one. I think that, you know, photography has the power to evoke emotions and provoke tough. It gives people the ability to freeze moment and create memories. And to photographers, the possibility to create stories, to tell stories without the need of too many words. I totally agree with you. Just look at this photo. Look at how the age has framed. Camera technology to help people to capture and preserve the memories. And nowadays, the digital image can be saved so much longer and is so much better. Actually, this is also one part of motivation for working as a camera engineer. You know, for me also as a photographer, advanced camera technology let me capture moments that were not even possible before. Yes. High resolution sensor, image stabilization, just let me create and capture images with much more clarity and detail. Yes, a good photo does have a technical standard, but to some extent, it's your personal pick based on your perception of what is considered to be as a good photo. Yeah, I think this is true. For example, yes. this picture, you know, to some people, this picture may look very, very simple, but to me it is not, especially because the father, when saw the pictures, told me that I was really able to capture the relationship with his daughter beautifully. I can feel it. Yes. This was shot in Havana one year ago. And when I was here, I was just trying to fill the frame, putting one subject in every vertical line of the picture. An old woman came to me with some fruit and some water. I think she was the grandmother of the owner. And it just felt me feel so good. And it makes you also think of how warm and beautiful the Cuban society is. Wow, that makes me really want to go to Havana. Well, you should because, you know, people are so nice there. You know, I think this is one of the beautiful things about photography. It just bridge gaps between people and foster you know, understanding between different cultures of the world. Exactly, we show me a camera engineer believe that technology should contribute to the fostering connection among people from different cultural backgrounds. Okay, so in Beijing, the pigeon and the pigeon whistle are kind of special it is. And the sound is actually coming from the pigeon whistle, which is tied to the pigeon while they're flying. I never heard this sound before. So this is a hutong. So you can still see hundreds of years of the history and the hutong. And even to this day, you still can feel full of the life in the hutong. Yes, you know, it just make me want to go back to Beijing again. Very nice pictures. Thank you so much. You know, China, not only can you experience this kind of traditional life, you can also feel the height of fashion and modern life like this picture. 
but uh, you can see the wings is all covered her uh, body and uh, the fasting is not secure. So our very senior French designer and uh, sewing teacher is quickly sewing up in a very dim light, just within less than five minutes before she went down the stage. You know, this is just a moment. Thank you. I think that through your photography you are just offering glimpses of your traditions, culture and way of life and that just shows that you're a very good photographer. Thank you so much, but I'm just the majority of the smartphone user. I like to capture everyday life with my smartphone. So capturing everyday life with your camera phone, that sounds so nice. Thank you. Uh, through yesterday's shooting, I gained a lot of valuable insight into your professional photographer's work environment and the way you live, which is entirely new to me. You finding your inspiration while you are on the street, talk to the stranger, ask for a perfect portrait. Uh, you picture a very good uh, actor's portrait with the professional lighting setup. They also direct this lady um, to find her best position. I like this one best. You just used our smartphone and to take this credible shoot without any lighting setting up. Brought me great joys to see all those kind of pictures, uh, the food of my efforts in the form of product to help to preserve and capture those memories. Thank you very much. Thank you. So it was my pleasure and I was so happy I was able to talk with you today and that you shared with me your beautiful picture. Thank you so much, it's also my pleasure. Thank you. Xiaomi.